I've got this all set up to cut these teeth but it's a different setup than normal so I thought I'd better show it to you um, in this case the uh, back and forth uh, mill table is stationary and I did that by uh, wiring up the or you can see it I, I wired the handle to uh, another piece and um, the table goes up and down instead of in and out so this is stationary this is stationary and uh, whoop, it's my phone I'll be right back there's a little better shot of uh, of the whole machine ready to uh, ready to cut so let's cut some teeth well, if you remember in another video I showed how to center this uh, wheel on the cutter it has to be absolutely deaf dead center uh, or you will end up with uh, half a tooth or a tooth and a half so um, that part is the same oh, let's see. Oh, going backwards let's try that Our depth thing wasn't quite right, so I had to reset it. I'll try again. You're cutting such a small amount of material there that you can't even hear the cutter. Looks good. I'll see if I can get you in a little closer there, get a better look. That looks very good. Now when you go down with this, you want to be sure that you go down far enough that you don't uh, Flip those teeth with the wheel. Otherwise, you've got a ruined, a ruined job. You have to start over, which you sure don't want to do. Okay, we've got about. Uh, 72 to go, so uh, I'll bring you back when I'm almost done. I thought I'd give you a different angle here so you can see it better.
this is rather laborious. It's taken me uh, over half an hour to cut this many. But, no other way to do it unless you do it on a vertical mill. We'll do that too one of these days. We'll, uh, we'll cut some teeth on the vertical mill, which is probably a lot better for you guys because not everybody owns a horizontal mill like this. I would, I'm just lucky. But you can do the same job on a vertical mill. I wanted to show you the index too. Uh, these are V cuts. They're not round bottom or square. They're an actual V and this is very sharp and you put one at a time right and you go to the next one and you make sure that it's deep seated and not uh, flopping around in there. This is a really great method of doing this. Um, you can do it with the dividing plates and all that, but if you do a lot of them like I do, this is uh, quite a bit faster using index plates. Okay, we're almost done. This is where you find out whether you uh, set it up correctly. <coughs> or if you have to do it all over again. It's the last two. And that looks perfect to me. Yep. There, you can see the teeth, I think. And they look, all look perfect. As I said, you get to the end and you've got a half a tooth. That's because you didn't set it up right and the cutter wasn't lined exactly straight with the holder. Okay. Now, go back to the lathe. We'll part this off right in there. And then uh, next Next chapter we'll uh, X out the wheel and it'll be done. Here's another quick look at what we what we just did. You see the they're pretty small. Okay, I was getting too much chatter out of the. Uh, Hargis cataract lathe and I'm not happy with that. I think the bearings are bad. I think that's the reason. Um, it's, so the lathe is over a hundred years old and it's I, I, even though I oil it uh, once a week it still uh, could very well be bad. So I'm going to dismantle that next week and uh, see what the internal problems is. In the meantime as I've said before the, one of the nice things about the horizontal cataract and the cataract lathe and this closing uh, 4900 is that they all take 4C collets. So I can just pop that collet out of the la other lathe and bring it over and put it in this one. So we'll see what happens here. And I'm not getting any chatter, that's a lot better than it was. The 
nice ship. I also took uh, my friend Ron's advice and uh, ground up a high-speed steel cutter. Um, there's been a lot of controversy in the last year or so. We've been talking about what's better for brass, uh, carbide or or uh, high-speed steel. And there's there's two different uh, groups. Ron's a big high-speed steel guy. And according to what I'm seeing right here, he's right. Um, you might comment on that if you have an opinion. And another thing is I've been experimenting with uh, Power Director 14. It's what I use for editing. And I finally figured out how to uh, fast forward. So I'll fast forward some of this and you won't have to be bored watching it. I lapped the cutter again. I found a place I thought it was a little dull. camera just a minute. There we are. I can't seem to get in the middle of this camera. There we go. 80 teeth. We're coming right along. The back's pretty good. I don't know if you noticed but I angled the um, cutter a little bit and so I was not only cutting the in, I was also cutting the back just just a tiny bit to improve that finish a little bit. When it's done we will wipe that off uh, on some emery paper and a, and a sheet of uh, plate glass to make this very flat and that should be just right. Uh, okay, tomorrow or next time we will um, X this out and it'll be done. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, hope to see you back soon. Bye.